Hey guys, CB Super. Today I'm gonna to show you how to download and install Blender 2.9. First thing I'm gonna do is come over to whatever browser I'm using. I'm gonna just type in, up in the search bar, I'm gonna type in blender.org. That's gonna bring me over to blender.org. Blender 2.9 is here. If you're not familiar with what Blender is, Blender's just a free and open source 3D creation suite. It lets you do a lot of things like 3D modeling, rigging, animation, simulation, etc. It's really powerful and it's absolutely free. So let's go ahead and download it. First thing I'm gonna do is come over to download Blender. I'm gonna be using the Mac OS version, but if you're using either a Windows or a Linux computer, you can just come over here. And if it isn't already automatically showing the right one for you, then you can always come over here and you can pick whichever the right one is. This is the one I'm looking for, so I'm gonna go ahead and left click on the download blender. You'll notice down here, it's going to automatically start downloading. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this. Give it a second, let it download, it's all done. I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to wherever my downloads is. And I'm not even gonna pull it out of my downloads folder. I'm just going to left click on that and let it open. It's gonna go ahead and start opening that zip file. And if you're on a Mac OS, you've probably seen this before. All you gotta do is left click on this Blender icon and drop it into this applications folder. I'm gonna go ahead and download it into your applications folder and it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my launch pad. There's Blender, left click. It's asking me, Blender is an app that's downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you wanna open it? Yes, this is absolutely fine. I haven't had any malicious software in Blender so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit open. And here we are inside of Blender with the 2.9 splash screen. It's gonna ask you what language do you want? Go ahead and pick whatever language you want. Uh, it's gonna ask you what kind of shortcuts. If you're brand new to Blender, you probably just leave it on Blender. Unless you're coming from say another program like Maya or something else, you may want to use your industry compatible. I'm just gonna leave it on Blender because those are the shortcuts that I've gotten used to. Now, this one's pretty important. It's select with, uh, you can either have right or left. Most programs you're used to using your left mouse button in order to select things. So just leave it on left. Unless you're a veteran of Blender, you've been using it for say 20 years and you're so used to using the right mouse button in order to select things, then I would probably just leave it on left. Spacebar, this is really up to personal preference. If you're planning on doing a lot of animation, leave it on play. If you're planning on doing a lot of modeling, I'd probably leave it on tools. Personally, I like to leave it on search, but that's just me. Um, I don't do a whole lot of animation, but it is kind of nice to be able to use simulations and what uh, with the play bar. Of course, if you don't like this setup, you can always go back and change it. It's just, this is the only time you'll ever see this particular splash screen. Right here, this is the theme. Now it lets you choose more than just Blender Light, Blender Dark, you have all these other ones. In fact, uh, Maya's pretty cool. If you're from Maya like I am, you might even feel a little bit more comfortable. I assure you, nothing else has changed other than the color schemes, but that is always an option. I'm just gonna leave it on Blender Dark because that's kind of what I've gotten used to. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit this little next and here we are, this is the normal Blender splash screen that you'll see every time you open up Blender. All it's asking you is, do you wanna start a new project? And if so, do you wanna use any one of these templates? Do you wanna open up maybe another file? You can do that right here. There's some release notes and development fun if you would like to donate to Blender, they're always needing donations. Over here, you can get started by checking out the manual, check out the Blender website and some credits. To get rid of this splash screen, all you gotta do is click anywhere off of it and it will automatically get rid of it. Here we are inside of the default Blender screen that you will see pretty much every time you go into Blender. You'll have a camera, you'll have one cube, and you'll have one light. And you can see those up here in the outliner. You'll see the cameras right here. Go ahead and click on it in the outliner. Use my left mouse button. You'll see that it highlights the actual object that I've selected. Same with the cube, same with the light. Uh, one thing you can do is you can actually just select all of these and go ahead and hit your delete key. Not the backspace key, but the actual delete key. You can also, I'm gonna go ahead and command and control Z to undo that. If I select all of these and I use the X key on my keyboard, it will ask me, do you want to delete this? You can go ahead and hit okay, and that will delete everything on your screen. This is kind of how you start usually with nothing on there. It's a complete blank canvas in order for you to work on. We're just gonna do a little bit of housekeeping real quick. If you never wanna see that splash screen ever again, or if you would always like to start it from here and not have to delete that default cube, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set that up real quick. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to file. I'm gonna come down to defaults and I'm gonna save this startup file. I'm gonna left click on that. And then it's gonna ask me, do you really wanna save this? I'm gonna go ahead and hit save startup file once again. And now it has saved it. Every time that I start up, I won't have to delete the camera, the light and the default cube. It's all set up, ready to go. There's one more thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come up to edit. I'm gonna come over to preferences and I'm just gonna set up a few preferences just to make it a little bit easier on me. So right up here, you'll see splash screen. If I go ahead and uncheck that box, I'll never see that splash screen ever again, which particularly 
I don't like to see, so I just leave it off. I'm also gonna come over to inputs. If I don't have a three button mouse, if I'm using say a two or even a one button mouse, I would recommend just go get a three button mouse on Amazon or something. They're fairly cheap and it'll make your life a lot easier inside of Blender. But if for whatever reason you don't have one and you're not gonna go get one, you can always check this little emulate three button mouse. That'll just allow you to use the alt key instead of using that third button. Also with the keyboard, if you'd like to emulate having a numpad, and if you're not familiar with what a numpad is, it's just that little cluster of numbers off to the right hand side of your keyboard. Larger keyboards have it where they have their own separate numbers. That helps when moving around inside of the viewers. If you don't have one of those, you can also emulate that, say if you're on like a laptop or something. I'm just gonna come down to system. There's one more thing I wanna do right here where it says undo steps. I'm just gonna left click inside that box and I'm just gonna drag it all the way to the right. That's gonna give me 256 undo steps. Having more is a little bit nicer. It just gives you a little bit more freedom to have to undo a whole bunch of things if you need to. You're probably gonna be doing a whole bunch of tutorials here in the next few months. One thing you're gonna wanna know how to do is enable add-ons. In order to do that, it's in here in the preferences. Just left click on add-ons. Usually they're gonna say, hey, in order to do this specific thing, you're gonna need this add-on enabled inside of Blender. So you can usually just come over to the search here and then let's just say uh, I need to enter in the Node Wrangler. I can go ahead and type in the word Node. You'll see that the Node Wrangler here does not have a checkbox in it, meaning it is not enabled. So I'm gonna go ahead and left click on that until I see it enabled. I don't have to save it. You'll notice if you come down here, the auto save preferences is loaded by default. So that's good to go. All I gotta do is X out of here and now I have the Node Wrangler set up. So let's go ahead and just check it real quick. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm not gonna save anything and I'm just gonna jump back into Blender. And now you can see that there is no splash screen. There's also no default cube, no light, no camera. There's probably a whole bunch of other things that you wanna learn inside of Blender. If you're into that sort of thing, I make tutorials. It's kind of what I do here. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I will see you guys in the next video.